Hello again everybody, back again in the garage playing with bikes. I picked up a beautiful Graham Way frame. Let me show you, hang on one second. Not Graham Way, what we're talking about, Jeffrey Butler this time. Um, so this is uh, steel, obviously. Uh, I don't think it's anything special. I've had a bit of a feel up the, uh, the seat tube here. Can't feel any rifling or anything like that. So I don't think it's Reynolds or any particularly clever Columbus or anything like that. I might be wrong. It doesn't really ding either, um, which you tend to get. You tend to get like a, a sort of a quite a nice sharp ringing sound if it's um, 531 or, or something decent. And, and this definitely isn't. So uh, I think it's just basic, uh, basic steel. A uh, bit rusty. Um, got a carbon fork. I um, don't think, I think, again, I think it's 90s because of the dropout spacing. Um, so, yeah, it's close to my size, so I'm quite keen to build it up. I got some lovely Campagnolo bits with it as well. Uh, so, here we go. Got a Campagnolo uh, Centaur crank set on there and some Exus pedals whatever they are never seen in my life before um, but that's in decent nick there was a front mech and a brake set which i've got over here i've just had them in a vapor rust um yeah so here we go brake sets in good nick give it a clean up uh, we've got a front mech in there as well just squirted it all down with the wd-40 to clean it up and get all the moisture out once it's come out of the vapor rust, uh, but we do have a problem as ever, and uh, you can probably see what a mess this seat post's in. So um, it's completely stuck, like more stuck than a, any seat post I've ever seen in my life. Um, this mess here is me. I've tried everything. I've um, stuck it in the vise and tried to turn it. And all I've done is, well, broken the seat post even more without it moving. I've dumped half a tin of plus gas down there. It's not focusing properly. I've dumped half a, a, a tin of plus gas down there. Um, that didn't help. All it did was when I sort of turned the frame the right way up, um, I tipped it all down my front, hence the uh, shop town, as the Americans call it, on the floor. Um, I've tried burn it. You can probably see it's it's a bit singed around here. I think because it's aluminium, it hasn't worked. Aluminium tends to expand more than steel does. I think it's twice as expands twice as much or something. Uh, I've tried freezing it. Um, although I've only tried with a, a CO2 canister, but all to no avail. So um, what I'm going to do now is something that I've never tried before. Um, I am going to try sodium hydroxide or better known as caustic soda or lye um, because apparently this being steel um, I can tip the frame upside down I can pour uh, the sodium hydroxide solution into the seat tube it won't affect the steel so I understand but it will eat the aluminium it's not going to be immediate it'll take time but I think that's the only way I'm going to get this thing out. Like I say, never tried it before, but going to give it a go. So I have here in this rather fetching Ribena bottle, I have a solution of, um, so this is one litre of water um, and 200 milligrams of sodium hydroxide, which I've just bought off Amazon. It's just, just drain cleaner, basically. Um, it's really weird. I put it in cold water. This is warm because there's some sort of exothermic reaction going on. Um, so I think I'm going to have to put some protective gear on because I don't really want to get this on my skin. Um, and uh, well, we'll see what happens. OK, so we've got the frame upside down now. So the idea is that basically I will pour. Uh, there we go. I will pour this liquid and fill up the seat tube all the way down um, and the theory well it's not theory it's science the chemistry says that there will be uh, no adverse effect on the steel however the sodium hydroxide will eat the seat post um, in the uh, in the seat tube here I mean it's probably going to take a few goes in a few days but it will gradually just ease away at it and then I should be able to get it out. So, I mean, obviously this is a last 
ditch solution because it ruins the seat post. And it's a shame because it's a nice, uh, nice campy seat post, but frankly, I've ruined it already um, by trying to use a persuader on it. So, uh, yeah, no real option. Um, now, I'm not going to be able to film this because I don't have the... I'm using my mobile at the moment. I don't have my camera and tripod um, with me right now. But basically what I'll do is I'm going to use this, uh, this sort of... Um, tube here um, and I'm just gonna basically poke that in like so uh, and then I'm gonna pour into there now I'm not gonna be able to film this because I've only got two hands um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna give this a go and then come back right so that is in uh, very difficult to judge but I think you can see that the top tube is completely filled up with uh, with the caustic soda now, or the solution. Um, did I say I did, didn't I? So it's one litre of cold water and 200 grams of caustic soda. Um, so I'm just going to leave that now and uh, I'll come back in the morning and see where we're up to. And uh, I've put a bucket down here as well, just in case anything happens, because it's a nasty liquid. Uh, and I don't really want it getting everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to go and clean everything up now. And um, yeah, uh, chemistry lesson over. Let's see what happens. Okay, this is three days later and three lots of sodium hydroxide later. I think it's doing something. It's certainly fizzing away and making all sorts of noise. So I can only assume that there's something going on inside the, uh, the frame. Anyway, have a look. So I've no idea if you can hear this. It's probably too faint, but it's fizzing like Alka-Seltzer. Um, I took the uh, the bottle cage bosses out, the um, just the hex bolts, because obviously they're alloy as well. Um, I'm trying to get this stuff on myself, but look at this seat post. I think this is where it's starting to come through. So uh, I think we're winning, but uh, I'm not in a desperate hurry. I've increased the concentration a little bit. I've doubled it uh, and I'm just literally sort of tipping it out. Loads of sludge comes out, which is basically liquid seat post, I assume. Um, and then uh, and then topping it up again. So uh, we will keep going. Two more days later, the chemistry experiment continues and I'm delighted to report that it has actually worked. So the seat post is now out. Uh, I mean, I probably could have done it quicker, but uh, it's nasty stuff, this, this sodium hydroxide. Um, so I think that the weaker the solution you can get away with, the better. It's made my skin itch a bit. I, I haven't really take the trouble to protect yourself. I've been a bit slack on protection. I've worn gloves. Um, but uh, yeah, I could have done a better job. Anyway, have a look at this. So it's out, which is great news. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna try and film down the seat post. No, it's not gonna work. Uh, it's a bit messy down there. I'm gonna spray it with um, some WD-40 or some GT-85 in a minute. Um, yeah, the amount of gunk that came out was ridiculous. Here is what's left of the post. I mean, you can see, I mean, look at that. That's what the sodium hydroxide does. It literally just eats it. Look at that. Look at the mess. It's grim, isn't it? So yeah, it's pretty powerful stuff. Um, all that was left was that. I mean, it literally eaten all the way through. So that's the bit that was causing the problems. You can see the galvanic corrosion on there. You can see why it was stuck. <clears throat> and I just managed to prise that out with um, a screwdriver. That was the last little bit. Once I snapped the, so it was like that basically. Once I snapped the post off, uh, that came up quite easily. But um, yeah, oh, Christ, look at it. It's disgusting. It's like mud. Um, but uh, I mean, this this is a method of last resort, but it, it absolutely works. I mean, look at the mess in the bucket. I mean, it's just, it's nasty stuff. It really is. I think I've got away with um, saving the paint on the seat tube as well. Um, I did read that uh, if you have a metallic paint, it can bugger up the paint. But uh, this is obviously not metallic paint. 
Um, so I think this is going to clean up. There's there's a bit of muck up here from where I tried to, it's singed a bit from where I tried to heat it. Uh, but yeah, it's out. Now, the other thing, be very careful and don't tell the wife. Uh, one thing I hadn't noticed was, because um, I, I was leaving it overnight, you can't really see it now. This this was black gunk down here. It had obviously spilt out of the bottom bracket. Um, you can see all this crap in here. Look at this. I mean, that's all. I don't know what that is. Uh, is that? It looks like carbon fiber. I don't know if it's going to focus on that. Uh, come on, focus, you bugger. You see that? Yeah, there you go. It's weird, it looks like carbon fiber or something. So I don't know if there has been some other seat post down there. I mean, this is just all the, this is just all the crap that's coming out through the bottom bracket. Um, it could, I think it's just bits of aluminum. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's just a mess, but anyway, it sorted it. But yeah, for God's sake, be careful because um, it's made all this mess down here. It's splattered on the floor. And it's splattered all over the wife's um, wheels. And what it's done, you can't see it now. Well, you probably see where it's shiny. It's taken the bloody paint off the, the, the wheel because this is a metallic paint. So I've gone over it with a Sharpie. Um, you won't notice it in just normal light. Um, but it has made a bloody mess of the rim where it's sort of splattered and splashed all over it. So... Um, yeah, the wife's probably going to murder me when she notices that. And uh, also, what's also happened is where I mixed up the potion in the kitchen, it splashed onto the uh, onto the work surface like a granite sort of marbly work surface, and it's it's just dyed it white. Um, so yeah, I'm in the doghouse about that as well. There you go, little spots along here. Ouch. So yeah, you can see I'm in a bit of trouble about that one. So do be careful because it's pretty evil stuff. I would suggest to you that this is a method of last resort, but it 100% works. So if you can't leverage it with a vice or any of the normal seat post removal methods, this is the way to go. It does work. So thank you once again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's been useful. Uh, yeah, like I say, uh, absolutely a method of last resort to get a seat post out. I'll post the concoction, the ingredients, the the recipe that I used um, in the comments below. But uh, basically, uh, I think in the end I went for, I started off with 200 grams and a litre of water and then I increased that to double the amount so um, you really want 100 grams per 500 uh, millilitres. You can certainly use more, I have seen people use higher concentrations but it starts to spit and fizzle over the place and it, like I said in the, uh, in, in the earlier video, it's nasty stuff, you really don't want to get it in your skin, it makes it itchy and also it gives off um, I think the by the, the byproduct is hydrogen um, into the atmosphere. So you need. I was having to vent the garage, and if I spent too long in there, it, I could feel it in my chest. So um, yeah, learn from my mistakes. Just it's worth. I should have had a mask on. Protect yourself properly, and uh, yeah, just just take a few more precautions. Um, thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one.